Hello everyone, this is Enzo Eigen, Lions for Loki, and we're on the Karate Mike Band Zemo Challenge. On to the next path. Um, I think we have two more paths, is that right? Who's on this path? Yeah, we have this path, and then one more, so halfway through. <laughs> these, these challenges are long. Uh, this fight should be okay. Um, I think the only thing is I have to do is just to basically get my decelerates on. It's sort of a common theme lately. Get my decelerates on him, and then um, and then the fight should be pretty easy. And so that means getting two SB twos, and then we're good to go. And of course, have lots of crazy uh, bleeds on him, so I can stun him and just do three hit combos. It's gonna be the opening goal. Oh, he's always such a, such a scary defender. Okay, and don't want to punish the hub here. I mean, the special course. So he will evade, and I will be unhappy. Okay. Whoops. Okay, there's one decelerate. Oh no! Oh, he evaded. Okay, still get the decelerate on, but just because I should have gotten rid of his power. It's way too much power to hint him. Okay, and we'll count that as a mistake. Big mistake. Can't need him to throw his special now. Okay, don't really want us to decelerate yet. It's 50%. So maybe I'll go for hit combos. Okay, seems like it worked. Can't need him to throw a special. Yeah, I just forgot to make sure his uh his power was low before I am. Um, before oops, okay, it's alright, got the decelerate. Come on. Three special, there it is. Yeah, not worried about counterattacking. Okay, should really get it now. One, two, three, relic. One, two. Uh, I think I gave him too much power again. Nope, oh, it doesn't matter. It decelerates down. That's that's really what we needed. Okay. Okay, well, anyway, now we're sort of at the usual place. We can't evade anymore, which is great. And so now it's just pretty much a normal fight. And we keep on going SP2 and maybe try to actually get some SP1s this time in. <laughs> get some bleeds going. That's where Zima really is good. Okay, we'll push him to an SP2. Okay, that way we don't have to worry about power. Like I sort of made a mistake the last couple of times. It feels like when he's rooted, you give him a fair amount of power. I think his power is mitigated some by the root, but it still seems to like be. Can okay, a grenade. In we go. Okay. It's the SP1. Good. Stack those bleeds. Get the, uh, okay. okay, yep, he, see, game's a lot of power. <laughs> Enough that you want to keep his power low when you're going to go through that whole cycle. You want to be as, as effective as possible. Okay, I'll go ahead and use your relic. And get myself up to an SP2 and him to an SP2. Perfect. Uh, almost perfect. <laughs> you didn't quite want to get to an SP2. Okay, and we go again. That's my SP2. Okay. And a grenade. In we go. Okay. SP1 gets lots and lots of bleeds on him. And a bunch more hits. One more round. Whoops, did not get it. Thought I had one more round. Apparently not. Okay, yep, definitely taking plenty of damage. Relic time. Okay. That's this fight is going okay. We're just going to go for it here. Yes, another solo. <laughs> yeah, Baron Zemo, he is made for these evaders. It's a little slow because it takes, you know, two SP2s to get your decelerate up. This next fight is going to be interesting because uh, Spider-Gwen, she another super annoying champion with evades. We'll see how easy it is to get the accelerates up for the fight. So you'll see that in the next video. Come join me then. Bye-bye.